TaylorMade is one of the most recognizable brands in golf, and that means many of you watching this are playing a TaylorMade driver or fairwood in your bag, and today we're gonna help you optimize that club for your swing using the TaylorMade adjustable hosel. This hosel is available all the way going back to the M1 and M2 series in TaylorMade Woods. It's got 12 unique settings. Let's dive in. At Second Swing, club fitting is at the center of our operations. We believe everybody should be playing clubs that's fit for their swing. And so when it comes to TaylorMade, that means using the adjustable hosel to make sure they're dialed in. And as I said before, there are 12 settings that adjust the loft, the lie angle, and the face angle with TaylorMade drivers and fairway woods. So here are some things to take note of when you're making adjustments with the TaylorMade hosel. With this sleeve, you can increase or decrease the loft by two degrees, so that makes a total of four degrees of adjustability. One note with the TaylorMade hosel is that decreasing the loft can actually open the face angle. So if you decrease the loft by two degrees, you could open the face angle by four degrees. And vice versa is true. So if you want to increase the loft on your driver or fairy wood, you're actually gonna close that club face. Out of the 12 settings, there are two settings that keep the face angle completely square. That is the standard setting, of course, and then the upright setting, which includes all the standard settings except for the lie angle is four degrees more upright than standard. On screen now is a look at the 12 adjustable settings and how they're implemented on the hosel for you. And with that said, let's dive into making an actual change with the TaylorMade sleeve. So here I have a TaylorMade Stealth Driver, 10 and a half degrees, standard loft, standard setting, right? What we're gonna do, because I know the most common issue out there golfers have is fixing that slice. So I'm gonna find the setting here that helps golfers with the slice the most. And that means closing the face the most. And to do that, you have to actually increase loft with this hosel by two degrees. So uh, on the hosel, it's actually labeled with higher. So the loft is higher, right? So at 12 and a half degrees, the loft is what this is gonna play. So, so the first step of course, is detaching the club head from the shaft. That is inserting the wrench and rotating counterclockwise. Should be able to pop right off like that. Next step is going to be lining up the setting that you're choosing with the little arrow underneath, uh, I guess the loft stated right there. So for example, right here, I'm going to, as I mentioned, the higher setting, which is gonna be plus two in loft. And it's also closing the club face. So line up and slide the sleeve right in there. Make sure it's lined up. Insert the wrench once again. And I'll rotate clockwise now. And with any adjustable housel nowadays, you gotta make sure it clicks and now you're ready to swing. One more note as well, if you have a TaylorMade Rescue Club that has a TaylorMade hosel on it, uh, the principle remains the same. If you increase the loft, the club face will close, and if you decrease the loft, the club face will open. Those increments will be a little bit smaller, however. Hopefully with this information, you can dial in your TaylorMade club and hit better golf shots on the course and ultimately shoot lower scores. If you have any more questions, make sure you contact one of our fitters. We'd be glad to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.